In problem 10, we have a uh, solution going through two membranes that are layered, and we want to find the effective permeability of the two layered membrane. And we have the permeability of each membrane. All right. Um, and so a key component of getting this is let, let's look at, you know, uh, right here in the middle. All right. So I've got C, the concentration on the left, concentration in the middle concentration on the right all right um and so when when solution starts flowing all right we've got um omega 1 rt cm minus cl all right and and then from here from the middle to here omega 2 rt cr minus cm and that has to be the same as, right? Because fluid's not building up anywhere. It's not like it's forming a bubble between the two membranes. It's flowing all the way through. And so that has to be the same as the effective flow all the way through, omega RT, right? Whatever the effective membrane permeability of both layers is, omega RT onto CR minus CL. So that flow all the way through has to be the same, it has to be the same through the blue layer and the orange layer and overall. So the, the flow, the flow is, is, is what the flow is, right? And so um, what uh, all I did here was then you separate terms and solve for CM. And, and once you solve for CM, um, you stick that back into one of these, right? Um, what did I do? Right. This, this is nothing. This is nothing other than um, this term. You know, those two terms, right? So omega one RT CM plus omega 2 rtcm omega 2 rtcr omega 1 rtcr and so you can get an expression used from these two terms for cm and once you have that we're just going to take this then those two and stick cm into that equation and we end up with this really complicated looking thing but once you work through the algebra, algebra, right, um, you get to this term on the CR minus CL is omega RT CR minus CL. So, so this term clearly is omega RT, right? This term is clearly just omega RT. So omega RT is that. Um, and because you've done so much algebra in different systems that behave this way, you, of course, recognize this in its much simpler form, which is this is just an additive inverse. So 1 over omega RT is, is 1 over omega 1 RT plus 1 over omega 2 RT. And I know you guys spotted that right away um, because you've seen this so often. Um, and so... I mean, if you got here, you're good, right? I mean, you're good right there. Uh, I know this next step happens because um, I've seen that a few times, right? Um, it happens in resistors. It happens in capacitors. It happens with inductors. It happens with other systems as well. And uh, you can do it with insulation in your home, uh, all kinds of ways that this happens. And so uh, to get to the effective effective uh, permeability you're you're just going to be one over your effective is one over uh, one membrane plus one over the other and um, that's it for the last problem problem 10 good luck with all the problems